Hi, welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David, and once again, I am riding a trike. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please listen to the short introduction. If you are familiar, there will be a skip intro link down in the description below, provided I remember to put it there. I make videos trying to motivate people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to get outside, find some fun form of exercise, enjoy the fresh air, and uh, start moving, because doing so can be both therapeutic and who can't use a little more fun in their life. Personally, I fall into both the chronically ill and the disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old. I had a pancreas transplant when I was 41. That cured me of the diabetes. I've had three organ transplants total. I am legally blind. I had stage 3 cancer a few years ago that was successfully treated with surgery and chemotherapy. I've had all kinds of surgeries and maladies. I've got a uh, rewards card at the local hospital. I've earned a lot of points on it. And right now I am fighting stage four cancer that has spread through a good portion of my body. Today I thought, boy, it's been nine years that I've been riding a recumbent trike. And in those nine years, what, what have I learned? So I figured I would do a video about that. Now, these are things I've learned. They don't necessarily uh, follow for everybody. Some of them, I think, certainly will. Number one, I much prefer riding on the trail as opposed to riding on the road. I do most of my riding on the trail, but the other day, I actually wasn't planning on riding, but in the afternoon, I wanted a coffee, and I thought, well, I'll just take a ride over to the coffee shop. And because when I ride on this trail, I have to uh, clean the trike off when I get home, it gets so covered with dust. I decided I would take a uh, route that consisted of bike paths, sidewalks, hello, bike paths, sidewalks, and uh, side streets with very little traffic to get there. And it's about five miles one way. So I got there and uh, the coffee shop turned out to be closed, rode back home, but the whole time I was riding, even though I wasn't on the street with a lot of traffic, you could hear all the traffic noises. And I just didn't enjoy the ride. You know, out here, hang on, I'm going to stop a second. I don't know if you could hear. The only thing I hear are some birds in the background. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. And where I was riding the other day, it's a pretty uh, busy area when it comes to cars. Uh, now, riding out on a rural road is a whole different thing. But I'm just talking about where I live, riding on the roads around there just isn't the same as riding on this trail where you can let your mind wander. You're not always paying attention to, you know, honks and uh, everything else that's going on. The smells of the cars, you know, it's for the birds. Who needs that? Hang on, I gotta cross this little street. Second, I've learned that when riding, you know, when I first started out, just total strangers coming towards me would say hi. And, you know, I was like, oh, what do they want? And 
Honestly, I was a little bit suspicious of them. But I finally learned they're just being friendly. And I also learned it's a lot easier, hello, to be friendly and not suspicious of everyone you come across than to be unfriendly and suspicious. Um, I honestly think it's most people's nature to be friendly. And in doing so, when I get home from a ride, I think I'm just a little bit happier because of that. Number three, and I'm going to give you my favorite thing that I've learned at the end. Yes, it's a blatant attempt to keep you sticking around. Number three, the sun. I love the sun. A lot of people do. But unfortunately, it is dangerous. The cancer I have right now, the cancer that is almost certainly going to be the end of me is caused by a skin cancer that migrated inside and that does not happen very often it's very rare but clearly it does happen so just remember when you're out in the sun either cover up use sunscreen protect yourself from the sun it feels great it makes everything look nicer but it's not the friend it was when we were kids uh, because of changes in the atmosphere it's a lot more dangerous so please protect yourself from the sun number four i've learned that being out here there are a certain number of bike repairs and fixes that you need to be able to do. You have to know how to do them and you have to be able to do them. That means practice doing them at home where if you need some help you can get it. You know and I'm talking about the basics. Uh, fixing a flat tire, fixing a broken chain, there are many of them. You just want to make sure that you're not going to get stranded for something that you probably could have taken care of on your ride. There goes my computer talking again. I'm waiting for her to stop before I continue. Number five. This is for sure the most important thing I've learned in nine years of riding at Recumbent Trike. And that is enjoy the ride. That's what it's all about. You may be riding because you want to get in shape, you want to lose weight, you know, you want to, uh, there, there's a million reasons. And all of those are great reasons. But if you push yourself too hard, if you work too hard, if your goal is always to either get faster or lose another pound or something like that, you're going to burn out. Whereas just riding for fun, you'll enjoy it for many years to come. And those benefits will come along with it. They may not come quite as quickly, but just get out and enjoy the ride. That is truly what it's all about. And it's something that I say because I think it's true for everybody. You know, I discussed in a video, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, how uh, 
when I was younger, I was always trying to get faster riding my bike. And that burned me out, you know, doing interval training, you know, heart rate monitors, the whole bit. And all those things helped, but I got to the point where I really didn't enjoy riding anymore. With the trike, I come out, I just start pedaling. Depending on how I feel, I pedal hard, I pedal easy, whatever that day or that moment brings, that's how I ride. And as any of you who have watched me before know, when I'm done with a ride, I always feel better than I did before. The last week or so, I've been feeling pretty lousy because of the cancer. Oop, hang on one second. The last week or so, I've been feeling pretty lousy because of the cancer. And uh, woke up this morning and didn't feel very good, but I said, I'm gonna go for a ride. If anything is gonna make me feel better, it's gonna be riding the trike. And, you know, I'm not pulling your leg. I'm out here riding and it's a world of difference. And that's because I've learned how to enjoy the ride. I don't care how fast I'm going, really don't care how far I've gone. It's just getting out and, you know, look at this, look around me. How can you beat it? It's uh, really great. So that to me is the most important. And I've got a bonus thing that I've learned. And that is no matter how many bags, panniers, racks, whatever you put on your trike to carry things, you're gonna fill those up. <laughs> You'll always find stuff to bring with. You go, oh, I've got the room, I'll take this. I got the room, I'll grab this camera. Oh, I've got the room, might as well take this with. And, you know, I got three large bags, one on each side and one behind me and they're all filled. <laughs> now on the days that I'm not filming, I have a little more room because I'm not bringing cameras with. But generally speaking, however much room I've got, I fill it up. So those are my five things I've learned in nine years of riding a trike. Once again, they are, I like riding on the trail so much more than riding on the road. Being friendly with strangers feels good. Feels much better than being suspicious. Number three, beware of the sun. Feels great but it's dangerous. So cover yourself or use sunscreen, but protect yourself from the sun. Is that number three or number four? That was number three. Number four is knowing how to do basic repairs in the field, so to speak. Changing tires, fixing a chain, uh, you know, couple items you might always want to have with you. Zip ties and duct tape come in extremely handy. Um, they're great for on-the-spot temporary fixes. And number five, my most important, is to enjoy the ride. Get out and have a good time. That's what it's all about above anything else. And my bonus, what have I learned, is no matter how many bags you have, you're going to fill them. So don't be surprised. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, share, comment down below, and I will see you on the next ride.
Bye-bye.